Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Liz Wade, and I'm Colin Lowther. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand, no matter where in the world they live. The plant sits in a black container. It is green, and has only five leaves. This plant looks like any other new plant, but it is different. This plant grew from a seed that was two thousand years old. Scientists are studying it. To learn more about ancient medicine, today's spotlight is on this ancient plant, the Judean date palm. The story of this particular plant begins about forty years ago with a group of archaeologists. Archaeologists study very old places. And things, in the 1960s, a group of archaeologists were digging around an ancient building near the Dead Sea. They were investigating a large building, a palace on Mount Masada. An ancient king. Had built this palace many years ago. Special healing qualities. In fact, they called the Judean date palm tree the tree of life. They believed that parts of this tree could cure a pain in a person's tooth, malaria, and even cancer. They believed it made people desire sex. And it could also help women avoid becoming pregnant. The Judean date palm tree is even in some ancient writings, the Bible, the Quran, and other ancient writings tell about the good qualities of the tree. Two thousand years ago, 
Judean date palms grew in many places around the Dead Sea. But today, this tree is extinct. There are no more of these trees anywhere in the world. People around the Dead Sea import other date palms from places like California in the United States. Scientists believed that the ancient Judean date palm tree was gone forever. Scientists estimated that the seeds the archaeologists found were over 2,000 years old. Tests confirmed that they were. Often, seeds this old cannot grow, but they are still interesting to study. So, the botanists, or plant scientists, stored these ancient seeds in a safe place to study later. Dr. Elaine Soloway lives in the community of Kibbutz Ketura in the Middle East. She is a botanist. She works with seeds and plants that are near extinction. The seeds and plants she works with are the last of their kind. She has already saved more than 100 different kinds of plants from extinction. Her goal is to study the seeds and plants that ancient people used for cures. Dr. Sarah Salin is also from the Middle East. She is an expert in natural medicine. Salin investigates whether ancient cures are effective. She heard about these ancient seeds from the archaeological dig at Mount Masada. Salin told Soloway about the interesting seeds. They wanted to try to grow one into a plant. Salin asked for a few of the seeds from the storage place. She told Matthew Kalman of the Chronicle Foreign Service, When we asked if we could try and grow some of the seeds, they said, You are insane! But they gave us three seeds. The doctors prepared the long, thin, brown seeds for planting. First, they put the seeds into warm water. Then, they added growth chemicals to the water. These chemicals kept the plant healthy and encouraged it to grow good roots. Then, on January 25, 2005, they planted the seed in fresh, sterile soil. For five weeks, they carefully cared for the small seed. Then, one day, a small green leaf began to rise out of the soil. Dr. Soloway told the Chronicle Foreign Service, The leaves were light, almost white and green. The first two leaves did not look normal. They were very flat and very light. The third leaf started to have the markings of a normal date plant. Now it looks perfectly normal to me. The only difference between this date seedling and other date seedlings I have studied 
is the length of the third leaf. That leaf is very unusual. Dr. Salon and Dr. Solaway called the tree Methuselah. This name comes from the Bible. The Bible says Methuselah lived to be over 900 years old. The doctors hoped to study the fruit of the Methuselah date palm tree. If the Judean date palm is able to produce any medicine, the medicine will come from the date fruit. However, there is a small problem in getting a date fruit. In March 2012, Dr. Soloway explained to the news organization GreenProfit.com Methuselah is now over two and a half meters tall. It has produced flowers. But he is a male. We are considering breeding him to the closest modern plant relative. This is the Hiani date from Egypt. We hope to have fruit within ten years. The Methuselah date palm is exciting for medical doctors and historians. But it is also exciting for people from the Middle East. Dr. Solaway and Dr. Salon hope that soon many Judean date palm trees will grow again in the area around the Dead Sea. Today, the growing Methuselah Judean date palm tree is planted at Kibbutz Keturah. It sits, planted in the ground, with a fence around it. This is a major achievement. But Dr. Soloway and Dr. Salin are waiting to celebrate. Dr. Salin tells National Geographic magazine, We will celebrate when there is peace in the Middle East. We will celebrate when all people in this area can plant these trees together and share any medical benefits it brings. The writer of this program was Liz Wade. The producer was Michio Ozaki. The voices you heard were from the United Kingdom and the United States. All quotes were adapted for this program and voiced by Spotlight. You can listen to this program again and read it on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called The 2,000-Year-Old Seed. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.